This is a question we get asked a lot, and of course our service dog and service dog prospect help slash will help with our disabilities. It's definitely important to talk about the realities that come along with that. So the main one is people. Everywhere we go, there's always someone who has to say something to us about our service dog, whether that's uh, you don't look disabled enough to need a service dog or them being upset that they can't pet the dog. That in itself can be very frustrating and anxiety inducing. And then of course the cost. Um, Something I think people don't really think about or realize is whether or not you go through a program or your owner training, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. And then of course access issues. I'm sure we've all seen the videos of service dog handlers running into access issues. That is just not fun to deal with and can really mess around with people's mental health. There's definitely a lot more things I could talk about, so let me know if you want me to go more in depth into these points or if I should make a part two or if other service dog handlers want to share their opinions on this.